a lot just to spend a little time with you. It makes you wonder when we don't spend time in the natural with people, if you keep pushing them away and ignoring them, they're eventually going to walk away. Amen? Come on. But he told me, hallelujah. And that just touches me. Amen. Go with me tonight to the book of Exodus if you have your Bibles, please. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. He shot on my time. Man, Jesus. I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost up here so strong. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, Brother Billy was talking about how we've felt and seen and experienced the move of God like we Hallelujah. haven't seen in many years. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Sometimes we have to get to the end of us so He can start revealing Himself to us. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we have to get pushed down Come on. so we can look up Amen. to Him. You know, all like I said, all He wants is us just to spend time with Him, to love Him, to worship Amen. Him, to adore Him, Come on. to live for Him. He paid a great, great price at Calvary. One that we could never pay. Come on. No amount of dollars in the world could ever pay the debt of sin that we all, that mankind, hallelujah, was into. Because of the fall in the garden. Come on. Amen. Over the last few weeks, we've experienced the move of God like never before. I know us, Come on. hallelujah, is collectively voice of the Lord. I know up at Word of Faith and a few other people I know close by have experienced <coughs> such a move of God like never before. Come on. That we've been craving for, seeking for years that have gone by. 10, 15 years ago, you could see people when you mentioned about Calvary weep. Tears flow down their face because of what He did for them. Nowadays, you mentioned it, Sister Reese. They don't, they're not affected by it. Their hearts are calloused. Hello. They're, so, they're, they're so immune to the, the filth of the world out here. We see so much garbage on television that it just has immuned our system to what He really did at Calvary where it don't matter to people anymore. I'm talking about spirit-filled believers about what He did for us at the cross. You're saying, Brother Mike, I, I'm tired of hearing about that. No, you need to hear it. That's what we need to hear. Because if it wasn't for the sacrifice of Calvary 2,000 years ago, we cannot be experiencing what we've been experiencing over the last few weeks. Amen? Come on. And I don't know about y'all, but two weeks ago, praise God, what a special visitation. And those that were here, man, I tell you, we had, you said, Brother Mike, you didn't preach that night. No, I didn't need to preach. Yeah. The Lord was taking over. And that's what needed to be done. His will be done, not ours. Amen? Come on. Amen. And that's the way we need to come into the services every time. Yes, there's a time to preach the Word. Yes, there's a time, praise God, that we just worship and adore Him. But there's a time that He takes over. Praise God, and we need to let Him have His way. Amen? Amen. So go with me to Exodus chapter 14 tonight, and I'll try not to hold you too long. But I've got a little word tonight that I want to share with you that I hope it's an encouragement to you as a believer and as an unbeliever that you want to get your life right with Jesus before it's too late. Amen? Amen. I'm going to say this. I love to preach the Word. Amen? <coughs> I'm proud to be called of God to minister the Word of God. Amen? Yeah. I don't know of any... Uh, Brother Billy, I know he would say it, praise God, but it's an honor to be preaching the Gospel. It's, it's greater than being the President. Amen? Amen? I wouldn't want that job for nothing, but if i got a chance to get up in there, praise God, I'll tell you my first inaugural address would be to preach the Gospel of Jesus, praise Come God, on. to a nation that has went forsaken God. Amen? Amen. Oh, I wish we, we could have, praise God, one day where a Holy Ghost-filled, Spirit-filled believer who was under the name of Jesus Christ, amen, to God, could get up there and take five minutes and just preach the gospel. Amen? I wish we could have that, but they won't let us do that. But God will make a way. 
Because He is the way. Amen. Come on. How many knows He will make a way where yeah. there seems to be no way? Come on now. Amen. Somebody shout with me if you believe that. Amen to God. Amen. He'll make a way. Praise God. He'll open up things and let you go through. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo, I'm getting ahead of myself. Help me, Jesus. Go over it. Exodus chapter 14, beginning in verse 9. Reading from what? King James Amen. Version. Hallelujah. Is that okay to still preach from? Amen. Amen. Some folks don't like that. Hallelujah. I got folks on Facebook mad at me because I won't let them post their stuff with, with NIV on it. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to correct an individual the other night. I was trying to read from a different version. Hallelujah to God. I wasn't trying to be mean, but I said, as long, amen to God, as God has put me over a ministry, I will not allow no other version but King James to be read from, ministered from, talked about, praise God. Amen. Well, amen. well Brother Mike, you're too strict. Now, praise God. Oh, I don't sorry. want people to be corrupted and be misled and led astray off of that other foolishness. Amen. Well, well, Glory to God. Now, saying that, I'll get into the Word now. Hallelujah. Amen. Exodus 14, beginning in verse 9. But the Egyptians pursued after them, all the horses, the chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them, and camping by the sea, <coughs> beside Pahiroth, before Beelzebub. Man, you could use those as passwords. Amen. Hello. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians march after them. How many know sometimes the believers today look up and they look in the natural instead of going by faith in what God said in His Word? Amen? Come on. Amen. And behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. See, why does it take, amen to God, a circumstance to get us to call upon <coughs> excuse me, Jesus? Amen? Come on. Why does it have to take Egyptian army Chasing us, amen, to God, to the edge of the Red Sea before we'll cry out to Him, amen? Why does it got to take one of a problem to make you call out to God? Yeah. Amen to God. When you're on the mountain, you still ought to call out to God. When you're in the valley, you ought to call out to God. Amen. Call out to Him 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, amen to God. Come on. Glory to God. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore thou hast dealt thus with us, to carry us forth out of Egypt. Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For, had, if, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians, than we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Go over to God, I like this. Fear ye not. Stand still. Go over. And see the salvation of the Lord. Can I say that again, church? Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which He will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. I like this right here. Glory to God. This is some shouting ground right here. The Lord shall fight for you. Amen to God. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, the Lord's going to fight for me. Amen. And ye shall hold your peace. And I want to use for a subject tonight the words out of verse 14 that I just read right there. The Lord shall fight for you. Amen to God. The Lord is going to fight for you no matter what you're going through. Praise God. If you are a blood-bought, born-again child of Almighty God under the name Jesus, He is going to fight for you, protect you, and keep you from the attacks of the devil. Amen. Amen. But see, here's some news. Amen. If you are His property, the Lord Jesus, Satan can't just have his way with you. Come on. Uh-oh. Come on. I blew some religion out of the water there. Satan can't have his way with you. He has to go before the Lord. Because if I own something, somebody can't just come and take it. My truck, amen to God. If somebody tries to come up and take it, that's not their property, amen to God. It's considered mine. Hallelujah to God. So therefore, if they try to take it, I would call the law... And the law would come out and arrest them. Amen? Come on. So same in the Spirit. If the devil tries to come and take something from you that's not his, hallelujah to God, we call upon Jesus. He <laughs> comes upon the scene and says, Devil, you have no right to this. Be gone. Hallelujah. The Lord shall fight for you. Father, we come before you now in Jesus' name. We thank you once again, Lord. Hallelujah, that you hear us. Glory to your name. 
Thank you for the spirit we feel here tonight. Hallelujah. Lord, we know at times where we give in to the temptation to doubt. We give in to the temptation, Lord, to fear. But Lord, help us to trust in You tonight. Help us, Lord God, to give our all, Lord, to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Forgive us in any way we have failed You. Lord, let this Word not return void going out here at VOTL and going out through the airways through Facebook and YouTube and all them avenues. Bless those, Lord, who need blessings. Lord, those who are lost, Lord, touch them, Lord God, where they would open the door of their heart and let You in. For we ask it all in Jesus' precious amen. name. And everybody said, Amen. And Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. God promised He would fight for you today, every day, that you live for Him. No matter what. Come on. Whether it's in, praise God, your family, your job, whatever the situation is, whatever has been keeping you down, it's been keeping you. Praise God from resting at night. It's been keeping you from receiving the promise of God. God is going to fight for you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. What are some impossible things, impossible situations you're going through today? For some, praise God, it may be financial. For some, it may be physical. They may be sick in their body. Come on. For some, it may be just a mental thing. They may be tormented in their mind by the enemy. But God wants you to know He's got your back. Come on. Come on now. Amen. God's got your back. Amen to God. Not way back. He's got your back. He's on you, praise God. He's yeah. walking with you, praise God. Matter of fact, He's not going to walk with you. He's going to get in front of you, praise God, and keep you safe. Hallelujah. That way that old spirit of depression when it tries to come upon you, get out of the way. I'm giving them joy. Go over to God. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God when that old devil tells you you're sick in your body. Praise God. The Lord says, listen, by my stripes, he or she is healed. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. When that old doctor tells you, praise God, you're going to die in six months. Hallelujah to God says, I am the resurrection and the life. Amen, Amen to God. Whosoever believeth in me, praise God, though he were dead, he shall live. Amen, Amen. to God. Come on now. Come on. It's good. time to bring some dead things back up, amen to God. From the resurrector Jesus, amen to God. Lazarus laid dead in the tomb for what, four days? Come on. And back then they didn't have the special preservatives to keep the bodies. You know, as they would today in the natural funerals. So I'm sure Lazarus started to stink a little bit, amen? Glory to God, Jesus was on time though, amen? Come on. Amen. They thought, well, Jesus, you're too late because they was looking with the eye of faith. I mean, they were looking in the natural. Amen. Praise God. That's why you got to look past the natural and look with faith. Amen. Faith in Him, amen to God. Because when He got there, Jesus, amen, He loved Lazarus. Yes, yeah. He loved Him, praise God. Now, see, He's shown He's got a compassionate heart that He's not a careless God. Come on. He loved Him. But when He got there, praise God, I can see those people standing there. Can y'all can not see them? Just go on, Lord. He's dead. He's yeah. dead. This certain situation, it's just done with, Lord. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. And just earlier, what he raised up the girl, Jairus' daughter. Amen. Come on. They mocked him and laughed at him. That's why he put the scoffers out of the room. Amen to God. Because when he went there, she's not dead, but she's asleep. And he said, Arise, young child. Hallelujah. Come on. So when he got there, he said, roll that old stone out the way. And he stood there. And I believe this, praise God. People told me I'm crazy about this. But I believe if he didn't say the name, I believe when he spoke, Lazarus come forth. If he would have just said, come forth, I believe they all would have started coming up. Come on, amen. Amen. Yeah. I believe that with every fiber of my being. But he said, Lazarus, that oh. voice that spoke, amen, to God, woke that natural, that carnal body up. Praise God. Here comes Lazarus all bound up. Praise God. And they said, cut him loose from those clothes. Oh. Praise God. And he lived after that. See, I'm telling you tonight, the Lord's got your back. He's going to fight your battles for you. And He will bring resurrection in your life if you will oh. live tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Mike, I can't seem to get past this situation. Well, don't you think that's what Moses and the Israelites, praise God, were going through when they got up to the edge here, praise God, and Pharaoh's army was back there? Can you imagine that? You're at an edge and you see the sea. Come on. And I'm sure some of those folks couldn't swim. I, I'm not a swimmer. How many can swim in here? I'm glad I'm not the only one, amen? 
I get made fun of for that. You from Kentucky and you can't swim? That's what they say. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can't swim. Never wanted to learn. Amen. I do good when I'm in the bathtub. Amen. That's why I just take a shower. So <laughs> anyway, I'll bring y'all fat. I'll get rich. Wrote a letter about that. But when you're at the edge, that's when God wants to perform. Yes. Come on. Because He said, He said, Moses told the people, Hallelujah, stand still. <coughs> oh, God. That makes, that makes my mind go back to Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am the Lord. Amen to God. You say, Brother Mike, it's hard to be still in those situations. It's hard to be still when they're going to cut your lights off, praise God, at 3 o'clock today if you don't have the money to pay the bill. Come on. It's hard to be still. Yes, it is. I can speak from experience. It's very hard. But that's where we've got to trust Him. That's where we've got to let Him fight the battles. Because the battle is not ours, it's of the Lord's, amen to God. Yeah. He's already won the war. I don't know why we've got to keep trying to create a battle for, amen. If we praise God, remind the devil that we've got the victory in Jesus, amen. Come on. We are victorious through Christ and what He did at the cross, amen. No matter what you're going through, and I'm, I'm preaching this to me tonight, amen. I'm not preaching it to any certain body, I'm preaching it to Brother Mike, amen. Hallelujah. And if it's for you, take it and run with it. Amen to God. But God will fight your battles. God, amen to God, will take care of you. He will get you through when you don't think you can make it through. Amen? Come on. Somebody said, the Lord is on my side. Amen? Lord is on my side. And He's fighting my battles. Fighting Come on. Glory to God. So I don't need to worry. Glory to God. To worry. Yeah. So if He's going to fight the battles, why worry? Amen? Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, why do I need to worry? Why do you need to worry? Make your hair go gray. Come on. Come on now. Don't shout, don't shout me down. Amen. I noticed the other day in the mirror, I had three or four on the side. Laura said, You want to color them? I said, No. Nah. <coughs> no, nah, I've earned those. Amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm going to get some more. Amen to God. I'm going to cover my hair. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I don't mean that in a bad way. Lord Jesus, some people need it, but. Some want to remain beautiful. I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to go on. Praise God. Color's good. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is on my side with that one. Amen. Come on. But things, praise God, He will take care of them. He really will. If we let Him. But a lot of the times though, and we're like the Israelites, we doubt His promise. We oh. stop the hand of God from moving. And we do. That was brought up Sunday night. Hallelujah. I was up there preaching. Praise God. And I told him, I said, we stop God's hand from moving upon our lives when we doubt it. Come on. In other words, we're saying, God, you can't do what you said you would do. Come really, on. that's what we do, amen to God. We don't have to say it with our lips, but that's the way our actions are. We don't trust Him enough, praise God. It gets me. We have enough faith to believe that God can save our soul from hell. But that's where it stops at. We don't have enough faith to believe that He can heal our bodies. And it's the same faith that, amen to God, you use to get saved. There's not no 20 different types of faith. Faith is faith, amen to God. If you have faith in the size of a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain and cast it to the sea, amen. I think I, I may have quoted that wrong. Something like that. But see, He's saying a mustard seed faith. Yeah. Praise God. That's all you need. Because the Bible says in Hebrews 11, 6, without faith it's impossible to please God. Amen? Amen. amen. I, I know sometimes people don't like to hear messages on faith, but amen to God, that's what it takes. Yeah. So the same faith to get saved tonight is the same faith you can get your healing. You can get your, amen to God, financial miracle. You can get deliverance. You can get the answer to the prayers you've prayed for so long. Yeah. You can deny it. If you just believe His Word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Some of the modern day folks would say this about the Israelites at the Red Sea. They would throw out some of these. These are the quote religious folks. <coughs> religious folks would say, well lift the surrender banner, banner before the enemy could kill all of them. Ain't no sense of uh, of, of being murdered or anything, just just lift up the banner. Come on. You know, let's compromise. 
Let's go back to Egypt. Amen. Egypt is a type of the flesh. Yeah. Amen. Let, yeah. let, let's just go back to the old things. Yeah, well, sure. this God thing ain't working out for me. Well, you know, there's a little bit of persecution because I stand up for Jesus. Amen to God. Uh -huh. let, let me just go back to Egypt. Amen to God. I'll just lift my back up and say, okay, I surrender. I give up. You win, Pharaoh. You win. Come on. That's what the modern day people would say. The ones that ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen to God. And I tell you, the baptism of the Holy Ghost is a necessity in the day in which we live in. Come on. Is that alright? Can I preach that? Do we have folks who believe in that here? Amen. The baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Amen to God. Come on. The modern day religious church would say you're possessed by a devil if you speak in tongues. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They go on to say, well, you better not take too many chances. Hallelujah to God. You, you don't want to fight them back because they're going to overtake you. Yeah. You better just give on up. Give up. Go back. Come on. Amen? Go back. Well, if, if that don't work, just go run and hide in the rocks. Go hide in the yeah. mountains. Live in fear all the days of your life. Amen to God. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen to God. But a peace of love and of a sound mind. Amen to God. Come on. We as believers shouldn't be walking around in turmoil and panicking all the time. We look at the, praise God, the economy today. The economy is the worst it's ever been in history. Yeah. I was hearing on the radio coming down here. They were talking about over in Europe. They said the only two countries in Europe that is seen somewhat making it is Germany and Great Britain. Come on. The rest of them are in such financial debt they, that they just it's it's worse than a recession, they said. Because what it is, you get these these leaders, these fat cats, they don't know how to manage things. They want to blow everything. Can I, can I preach like this tonight? Yeah, that's good. Amen? That's why America's in the shape it's in today. I'm just going to be blunt tonight. Amen to God. We've got presidents, amen to God, president, pre, uh, candidates, presidential candidates, going out here on campaigns, spending billions of dollars of money that if they took half of their budget and put it into the United States to pay off all this debt we owe, we could be debt free. <clears throat> amen? They want to fly in jets that takes thousands upon thousands of dollars when they could get on a bus or get in a car and go to where they need to be. They're just too lazy to do it. Oh, don't shout me down now. Amen. And then you've got the situation going on where our, mom, where our current president, Obama, <clears throat> Obama, praise God, he wants to sit there one day and he's going to be a Christian. And then a few weeks later, he's going to support the Muslims. Hallelujah to God. We don't do that, amen to God. You don't mix good with evil, praise God. You don't ride the fence. Either you're hot for God or you're cold for Him, amen? Come on. And then now his newest thing, he's going to say it's okay to be a homosexual. Yeah. I, I condone men marrying men, women marrying women. Let me tell you, God didn't design that. He didn't make a man, amen to God, to be with a man to produce, to have, praise God, children. you got to have a man and a woman, amen? Come on. Amen. Come on now, praise God. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it was in the beginning. Come on. He didn't make Adam and Steve. He made Adam and Eve, praise God. And he amen. took Eve from the rib of man, amen to God. That's why when we come together in the amen to God marriage, we become one flesh before Him. Amen. Come on. Oh, come on now. Amen. The Lord's got to fight our battles. Praise God. America today, if they would repent, repent and get back to the cross. Come on. Mm. We would see revival break out in this land like never before. Yeah. That's why, praise God, the church has gone back to Egypt under the spirit of Pharaoh. Come on. That controlling, dominating yeah. spirit that is in so many of the churches today. That's why there's no deliverance, there's no healing, there's no salvation. You don't see churches anymore give altar calls. Now that bothers me as a preacher. Because we're in this thing to see souls saved. Amen? Come on. Amen. But see, I'm glad Moses 
listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen? Amen. I'm glad Moses, praise God, made the declaration, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Amen. God. Amen? Amen. See, he was looking with faith, amen to God, that that Red Sea was going to open up. And it did. God, amen to God, opened that Red Sea up. And they walked on, he didn't say they walked on muddy ground. No, come on. On dry ground. Amen. Praise God, they walked on dry ground. And I'll tell you this, I don't even believe there was dust in there. I believe he let them walk on ground <coughs> where the shoes wouldn't get dirty. Come on. Can you just imagine that? One side on the right, you got a wall of water. One side on the left, a wall of water. God opens up, amen to God, does the impossible, because that's the kind of God we serve, amen, amen. to God. Hallelujah. He's there when you need Him. You can stand upon His Word. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's the kind of God I serve. If that's the kind of God you serve, say amen. 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 Praise God. He's a mighty good God, amen. Glory to His name. Praise the Lamb of glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -mm. He'll fight for you today. Yes, he will. Come on. <laughs> Woo! That gets me excited. I can't help I can't get off that, Sister Tracy. He'll fight for you. Yes. Go over to God. How many remember when you were little in school? How many remember how many ever got bullied? Oh yeah. Hey, Amen. Somebody bigger than you come up to you <clears throat> and would push you around. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna say this, praise God. <laughs> I was a tiny little runt. And I had this big girl bully me. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. Y'all may laugh about that, but some of y'all probably do too. This girl was a giant. Amen. Come on. She was Goliath. Bigger than Goliath. <laughs> but I remember every day being afraid to go on that playground. Yeah. Because she said, I'm going to hurt you, Mike Kelsley. I'm going to hurt you. I don't know what I ever did to her. Come on. Praise God. I always thought it was nice to her. I don't know. I guess I just was easy to pick on. But then one day, somebody stepped in the way. Come on. There was another girl. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. She stood in the way. She wasn't as big as that girl. She may have been just a little bit taller than me. But she got in the way and she made that girl run. Come on. Hallelujah. She fought my battle for me. Amen. Amen. Spiritually speaking, God does the same for you. Amen. Amen. And I had to give her fruit to you. Amen to God. But that's okay. That be all in getting intimidated by Goliath. Amen to God. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. I, I need to I, I That girl works at, at a restaurant there. Okay? I need to go by and see her. And praise God. I guess I'm still a little runt. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But it's amazing though how much fear you had. I was afraid, I really was, that she was going to hurt me. Come on. And Christians today are afraid. They believe the lie of the devil. The <coughs> devil tells you he's going to kill you. See, Satan is he's dangerous. And, I, and I'll tell you where he's dangerous at. I think the devil is more dangerous in the area of deceiving people with the Word. The Bible says that he will come at you as an angel of light. He will transform himself into an angel of light, a minister. Because he knows the Word. Remember in Matthew chapter 4 when Jesus was in the, world, was in the, the desert and he was tempting him with different Mom. things? He'll take that Word and twist it up. That's yeah. why it's so important you got to know God's Word. That's why it's so important to educate yourself in the Word of God. Not in somebody's book, but in the Word of God. That builds your faith. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by what? The Word. The Word of God. Come on. You want your faith to grow? You want to have faith like Moses did, standing at the Red Sea water? It says, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of God. Trust His Word. Amen. Come on, amen. Believe His Word. Amen. Praise God. Some other things you need to do. You need to pray. Amen to God. We need to pray like never before. Come on. I mean, praise God. I don't need pray over our food. You should do that. 
But we need to pray for one another. <laughs> we need to pray for the world. Amen. We need to pray for these hate groups out there that's going crazy killing people. Come on. We need to pray that God would open their eyes Amen. to see that they're deceived. Yeah. I look at this map right here, and I make reference to it quite a bit. Because I look at all these countries over here that are persecuted Come for on. speaking the name of Jesus. Yeah. And then I look at this country right here, the United States of America. Yeah. Nothing. Right. There's no color in it. Come it's on. just plain. That means less persecution. We are a blessed nation. We've got every avenue to hear the Word. Come on. And we don't use it. Yeah. People over here would kill just to get a third of what we had. Come on. People over here, I believe they would give body parts. I believe they would give legs and arms just to get a copy of the Word of God. Come on. A page of the Word of God. I believe that. To be able to hear a CD, Come on. they would give probably their home to hear God's Word preached right. And we take it for granted here in the USA. Amen. We have tons of CDs in our home and our cars. Half of them don't even get listened to. Yeah. We've got Bibles on the bookshelves and half of them don't even get read. They've got so much dust on them. On. If you pull them off, it would be terrible to see. <coughs> We've got DVDs made up nowadays that contains the Word of God and nobody watches them. Yeah. Instead, they watch the old reality shows on TV. American on. Idol. Who's got... Who wants to be a millionaire? Who, or whatever those shows are called. Come on. We watch all that, and we feel that God. We let that garbage get in us. No wonder we can't get victory over the flesh. Come on. Hallelujah. We come into the house of God and we can't praise Him. Yeah. I mean, we come in. We can't even lift our hands. We can't even worship Him. I remember the Lord gave you that word, brother Billy, about the. That, that we've got such depth of word coming from this pulpit, coming from this ministry, praise God. But the one thing it's not more of is worship. Come on. Lifting our hands. Amen. Praise God. I've only got really one good hand I can lift up, and I try to lift my right one because it's so stiff and weak. But praise God, He still gives me the ability to lift it up. Come and on. we should do it no matter what. Yeah. But we don't do that. Amen. That's why, praise God, we end up back in Egypt. That's why we end up giving into the flesh. Amen. Come on. And I'm not trying to preach against anybody or on anything, but praise God, the Pentecostal church, amen to God, we have seen the move of God like never before, more than the Baptists, more than the Methodists, more than the Presbyterians, even the Assemblies of God. A lot of those are bound up in rules and, and different and different amen. things, amen, amen to God. Yeah. But the Pentecostal church, amen to God, it's not a denomination, it's an experience, Come praise on. God, because it's something, praise God, that we can experience every single day. Amen. How many is glad to be in the Pentecostal church? Amen. I don't mean legalism. I mean to be in a Spirit-filled Pentecostal church oh. to where the, where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. And you've got your liberty in Him to just get out here and dance in the aisles, to run the aisles, to just Come weep on. and, amen to God, moan in the Spirit. Amen. My Lord in Heaven, these are things we need back. <coughs> And I believe, praise God, if we just start seeking His face again, we'll see Him again. Come on. Hallelujah. And just believe His Word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to God. We're almost done. Amen to God. We'll give you just a couple more things and we're going to get out of here. Don't panic anymore. But bring your problems to the throne room. Amen. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Give them to Jesus. Come on. There's an old song. I forgot who sang it, but it goes, Take your burdens to the Lord and just leave them there. Yeah. And I tell you, I'm guilty of not doing that. I am. I'm not going to speak for anybody else. Because sometimes we tend to go to the altar. We got, we got good intention of leaving them here at the foot of Jesus. Come on. But then we get back up and we we pick them up. Yeah. We pick them up. Come on. <clears throat> we really mean for, to give them to the Lord, but we're, we're just so <clears throat> caught up and we pick them back up. 
Come on. And Jesus said, why don't you just leave them there? Why don't you just get up free from the burden? That's why we don't rest at night because we don't truly give them to Jesus. Come on. We can't solve our problems by ourselves. We've got to trust in Him. Stand still. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> He'll take care of it. He'll fight your battle. Come on. <laughs> we can't complain. Hallelujah. We need not to complain and murmur. What happened to the children of Israel when they did? They ended up in the wilderness for what, 40 some odd years? Yeah. But instead of complaining, look in the Word and visualize your victory and praise Him for what He's already done and is doing. Amen? Amen. That's when you see the salvation of God. Amen? Let's stand to your feet tonight. Praise God. I'm going to close out with, with three <coughs> Scriptures if that's okay. I don't know if this has helped anybody tonight or not. The Lord said He would fight your battles. <coughs> And He gives us assurance in His Word. Let me read these three Scriptures and we're closing out. Amen? Jeremiah 32-27 Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for Me? Put your name in that. In that. Mike, is there anything too hard for Me? He's asking. Sister Nancy, is there anything too hard for me? Sister Greasy, Brother Billy? Come on. Praise God, people out there watching by YouTube. Is there anything too hard for him, he's saying? Luke 18, 27, and he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Yeah. And closing out. <coughs> I love this verse right here. It's one of my favorites. Luke 1, 37. For with God, nothing. Nothing. Somebody say nothing. 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 Look at your neighbor and say nothing. Nothing. Shall be impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. For with God, Come on. nothing shall be impossible. Amen. So in this upcoming week, Lord willing, if we see the end of a week, the Lord may He may call us home tonight. We're not promised tomorrow. Amen. Look past your circumstances and look to the one, praise God, who holds. Praise God, He He, he is the future. He's everything. He, he knows what's going to happen. Come on. So why not trust Him with the situations? Amen. And I know it's hard. I'm not saying it isn't hard. It's hard. But if we truly get to the place where He wants us to be at, we can stand upon the edge of that sea and be like Moses and say, I'm not afraid. I'm going to stand still and see your salvation, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank You tonight for Your Word. Thank You so much, Lord, that You love us even when we don't love You back. Thank You, Lord, for doing great things for us even when we don't Take the time to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the small things. Just the little insignificant things that some people will take for granted. Thank you for the clothes we have, the shoes on our feet, the roof over our head, the vehicles we drive, the food we have to eat. If we have money, thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for our family and our friends. Thank you for a place where we can go and hear your word preached. Thank you for us having the ability to get access to Your Word. <clears throat> Lord, we, I pray tonight, Lord, for each person in this place, whatever they're going through, Lord God, help them to fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of You, Lord. Be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight. Get us to our home safely, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Everybody said? Amen. amen. And Amen. Can we, can we do one thing before we leave out? Can we stretch our hands to the camera? Praise God, because people's going to be watching this, praise God, that we may never meet, we may never see. Can we stretch our hands to the people? Can we join our faith and pray over the people out there in YouTube and Facebook? Because there's a lot of people that goes on to those sites. Amen. And I really feel, praise God, that what we're doing through 
everything we do here, voice of the Lord, I really feel it's making a difference in people's lives. Amen? Amen. So let's stretch our hands and let's just pray for the people out there. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for those who are watching this right now or listening to it, whatever avenue. Lord, we know they have the same needs, Lord God. And we pray, Lord, that you would minister to them, Lord. You said your word would not return void. Break every yoke, Lord, because that your word anointed breaks the yoke of bondage. Touch your lives. Save any lost and souls out there that's not saved. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah.